And I welcome you back to the Debrick Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Oroville. We'll be talking about California's waterways in general. And let's get right into it. We're rolling right out to windy.com. The next three days you can see the precipitation at Lake Oroville is going to be around half inch to three quarters of an inch. Somewhere in that range. And then we scoot out down to Folsom. You can see down at Folsom 0.28 Mount Shasta. Not a whole lot. We go to the next five days. Not much. We go to the next ten days. And this thing lights up really well 2.31 inches at lake oroville we scoot up towards mount shasta up here 2.1 happy camp 2.8 people in eureka 2.5 chico down here 0.86 we go down to grass valley and you can see grass valley 1.37 bear valley 1.08 we go down to mammoth lakes and 6.7 we go over to the gfs they're really agreeing which is rare this doesn't go way down to the south but they are agreeing that there could be tremendous rains there at the lake and we continue to roll we're going to go to tropical tidbits next as we roll out to tropical tidbits this thing's not as aggressive as it was there's still a lot of systems coming through but not near as much moisture as they initially forecasted like a couple weeks ago and here comes your first system we'll count them as they come through here comes the second system here to northern california not so much to the south here comes another one a weak one that's the third one here comes a fourth one and we're still within the 16 day range it really blows up in the Colorado rattles let's hope that happens as we go to the end here you can see there's another one coming through so maybe six possibly over the course of the next 16 days we'll be watching to see if that comes to pass let's continue to roll on we're going to go to the snowpack next your snowpack will start off on january 22nd your snowpack was 103 190 percent for northern 130 236 for central 150 275 for south central and we keep rolling the 23rd 105 we'll just look at the april first dates 130 150 we continue to roll 104 130 152 we go to the 25th 105 130 152 we go to the 26th 105 130 152 just nothing's changed there we go to the 27th it's still the same 105 130 152 this is what your latest is they haven't given sunday's update yet so this is where we stand currently and we continue to roll on out to lake oroville next here we are at lake oroville and i did see that they're going to start releasing water more frequent here before too much longer so be watching for that your current storage acre feet is 2,265,248 right now they're not releasing no water your inflows are 6,390 and you were as high as 8,306 around 5 a.m this morning and we continue to roll out to the graphs next here we are at lake oroville's water level your current water level is 806.38 feet msl sunday january 29th 2023 at 7 a.m the level's 93.62 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday 0.56 so the lake continues to climb much higher than it has been and we continue to roll on over to lake shasta next here we are at lake shasta's water level they are releasing water you had a high of 13,325 cubic feet per second. Your ends were 25. The latest cubic feet per second was 1,136 out, 5,558 in. Your current storage acre feet is 2,549,046 storage acre feet. Lake Shasta's water level is 986.73 feet MSL Sunday, June 29, 2023 at 7 a.m. The level is 80.2. 7 feet below full pool of 1067 changes since yesterday's 0 0.37 feet we roll over to Folsom next Lake Folsom's currently at 500,579 storage acre feet and your outflows are 5,407 your inflows are 4,463 and that is what's going on there we go to the graph Folsom Lake water levels are 416.59 feet MSL Sunday January 29, 2023 at 7 a.m. the level's 49.41 feet below full pool of 466 and changes since yesterday 
the lake continues to fall, they continue to release more that going out than coming in, and that's why it falls. And we continue to roll over to Lake Trinity next. Lake Trinity storage acre feet 760,040 acre feet. Your outflows are nothing, your inflows are 1,702. We continue to roll on over to the line graph next. You can see the top of the glory holes 2,370, so keep that in mind. Their latest update was on the 28th, which was yesterday, and the level yesterday was 2,225.47 feet. It should be to the Cedar Stock boat ramp in the next day or two, so we'll be watching for that, and we roll out to the line graph next, the other line graph. Trinity Lake water level, 2,225.56 feet MSL, Sunday, January 29th, 2023 at 7 a.m. Changes since yesterday, 0.1 for the downfall about this site is they do not have the glory hole so it just says above full pool zero which is not the case we know that it's 2370 so that's all i have for today thank you guys for stopping by i hope you're having a fantastic sunday and we will see you on the next one god bless